I think the PDR is important to farmers for two reasons. Uh, you know, number one, these people are incredibly proud of what they produce. That's why they do it over such a long period of time. And to know that people are going to recognise that work, there's going to be a little bit more of an understanding about what Herdwick Lamb stands for and what PDO status stands for is something they're incredibly proud of. And to know that that level of provenance gives us the opportunity to supply this product into some of the best restaurants in the world gives these people a lot of satisfaction. Uh, and I think also, something which we've achieved and we hope to continue is to give farmers a premium price for Herdwick Land with a PDO. When you work as hard as these guys do, it's important that you get a fair price for it. And as a company, it's something we've, we've always offered and something that we will continue to offer, particularly with the PDO backing. Within a fortnight, these will uh, start lamb. Well, less than a fortnight. And, and what's eaten then? They don't. It's the lamb that's eaten, not the. It's the lamb, but it's the lamb that we don't want. It's the lamb that's the weather lamb. All the female. That's last year's lambs. There, look. All spread out on that hillside. Um, when they all come through, they're all the female. Ah, the, right. The female sheep are all replacements to stay on this, to stay and keep this heath and hefted system, uh, oh, yeah. it has to it has to remain. What we're actually selling and what we you know need to get across to the public is if they're eating this Herdwick, they're not reducing the Herdwick sheep, they're making it sustainable for us because we need to sell this by the byproduct which is the male lamb which we don't want. So uh, you just keep a few rams back we then just keep for a the few we select actually out of about um, you know maybe four hundred lambs, uh, male lambs this time we've selected we've kept eight. Uh -huh. well, Are all of these pregnant yeah. then? Yeah. Middle of the month. About 15th of you. About Easter time then? Yes. That's why we like them down here. Yeah. If they're left up there for Easter, it's just a big, big problem. We've, been a lot, we've seen a lot of people today out there with dogs. Uh, and that looks like it's moving. Is that the lamb moving in there? Inside, yeah, wriggling about. Fantastic achievement to get them down there. It's um, and it's a combination. It, well, I don't think it would ever have happened without uh, people like Dan, because um, Dan has that. He's just as enthusiastic at doing what he does as we are about doing what we do. Herdwick is a bit very unique. It's a very slow growing. Um, it, it's a special animal that obviously lives in the Lake District. Um, it's very hardy, but being that way, it's very slow growing. So the lambs that are born in March, April, um, don't get ready for slaughter till the following Christmas or into the following year. Uh, most sheep are uh, lowland sheep. Um, they probably don't take any longer than three months to be ready. So the Herdwick uh, is much slower, takes longer, so you get more flavour with the meat. If it wasn't for the meat industry, um, the restaurants selling the lamb, 
and basically the Herdwick wouldn't be in the Lake District because the farmers farming it um, wouldn't be making any money, they'd have nothing to sell. Uh, it's one of the only sheep or the only sheep that could live in the Lake District. It is part of our heritage but it also comes back to the point of what else would live up here. It's nice now, it's a nice day, but get in the middle of winter, you've got to have something, um, you know, the Herdwick is what can live here and it does produce lambs each year and it alters the look of the fells with them up here. It's something that people absolutely associate with the Lake District and being Lake District farmers. I think it's important that we champion product which relates to this area. And quality wise, I don't think you get better lamb anywhere. It's extremely stocky, hardy, small, it's slow growing, it's traditional. Um, but because of how slow growing it is, and because of the land that it's found on, because of the terrain that it's reared on, because of the quality of life it has, it gives you massive flavour and it gives you incredible texture and that is the big thing that all chefs are looking for.